other Mary, hoping to visit the body of their friend, their master. And as they approached, there was an earthquake, and an angel of the Lord rolled the stone away from the tomb and sat on it. And he said, do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, but he's not here. He has been raised. Have you ever heard the statement that the cross is God's last word? Or the last word of Jesus was the cross? I guess I differ with that a little because the story goes on, doesn't it? It goes on in this angel's announcement that this tomb is somehow miraculously empty in the perplexed excitement of Mary and the other Mary. And even in that simple word of Jesus, greetings. You know, that always struck me funny. Greetings. So how do you say hello after you've been dead since Friday? Some translations use hail, or all hail. If it was a modern translation, it'd probably be something like, yo! <laughs> but even that big old yo, that wasn't a last word. And it wasn't a last word later in the gospel when Jesus meets the disciples and he tells them to take his message throughout the world. That is not the last word. Not the cross, not the resurrection, not even the ascension. None of that is the last word. Because Jesus has never, ever, ever stopped speaking. Because when you give of what you have to others, when you love your neighbor as yourself, when you honor one another, when you befriend the friendless, when you stand up for that kid who's getting bullied, when you work for peace, when you insist on justice, when you give somebody some lunch money just because they need, them, need it, Jesus is speaking. And Jesus is speaking through you. And Jesus is with you and inside you and in front of you and behind you and beside you, above you and below you and resurrected for all to see. The cross is not a last word. Neither is the grave, neither is the resurrection. Our faith is not a museum piece, it is alive. But to go back, I think the cross kind of is a last word of them. I think the cross is God's last word on the ways of this world. One of the things we Christians are called to struggle with in a world where we sometimes have to defend ourselves or have to defend those who cannot defend themselves is this. The response of Jesus to the ways of this world, to the greed, to the fear, to the violence, to the lust for control and power, to, the, to all those things that converged and called for his death, his response, do as you wish. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and he went forth uncomplaining. The cross is God's final word on one thing, the ways of this world. God is not about me. God is not about oppression. God is not about power. God is not about riches. God is not about greed. And the cross is God's answer to all that. And in that answer, God is saying, if that's the way you want it, go ahead. But I'm also going to show you how to really live. Our faith is not a museum. Our faith is active and alive. And our faith lived out is a statement to this world that the ways of this world are a mess. And they've always been a mess. And we Christians are called to be light. A light that shines on the true last word of God. Because we know what the word is. It's just never been a last word. It gets spoken again and again and again. And of course that word is love. The cross, the way of the cross, is love. 
And the resurrection is a demonstration of the power of that love lived out. And we are now called to live in cross and in resurrection and do something with this world. Do the things that Jesus did. Some folks look at this day as an excuse for us to be in charge or to live in glory, but no. We are called to preach Christ crucified and live in the way of that love. We've been given a joyful mission, an amazing mission. We have been given the path that leads us away to the, from the bondage of the things of this world and leads us instead to the way of real life. Now, maybe you won't go out there today and change the world. Maybe we won't. But we sure will change our piece of it. We sure will show folks there is another way of doing things. We certainly will show others that there's this guy, Jesus, and he wasn't just this nice guy who lived a long time ago. He did a lot of nice things. Maybe we ought to think on him once in a while. Uh -uh. We will show others through our love, through our compassion, through our care for those around us that this Jesus is alive. And he's alive in us. And through his power, we will always, always, always be alive in him. Glory, hallelujah. Because that gift of love that's, not, that's what got out when that stone was rolled away. And it's loose. Loose in the world. Loose in you. Loose in me. We've been given a gift. Let's share the joy. Let's share that light. Let's share that love. Let's live in the way of the cross. Let's live in resurrection. <laughs>